Hello, I'm Keith Johnson. I'd like to share with you a little bit about myself and my paintings, uh, which I feel are the same thing, actually. I can't separate myself from my art or art from myself. The main thrust of my paintings are landscapes and seascapes, mountains, the wildest places. Uh, it's a place that I just am drawn to. That's, my work is not necessarily one thing or another. People ask me what type of work do I do. It, it's not realism, no. Uh, even though everything I do becomes, begins from sketching and drawing and painting out in the real world, in the landscape, in the ocean, in the mountains, wherever. Uh, that's what inspires me. But from that point on, it's a, it's a combination of expressionism, because I like the spontaneity, uh, putting things down very quickly. I love paint running and the feel of paint and texture. love color. But beneath it all is this structure. It's, just, it's just this balance. It's a very delicate balance where all these elements come together, as in Cezanne. And uh, that's what I try to achieve in my paintings. I feel that, that a painting, a, a good painting, should keep unveiling itself. That there are layers and layers and layers of meaning and color and shapes and textures and things that are happening in there. And uh, that's the joy I find in nature. And that's the joy I try to put into my paintings. I know it's getting about done because it's taking me longer and longer to work on it. About 80% uh, of my time on a painting, on a work of art, is the fine-tuning process at the end of the... The initial inspiration is everywhere. I have no problem. Everywhere I look, I can see something beautiful. Uh, that I want to capture. And uh, beginning the painting is quite simple. Uh, I start very spontaneously, normally with an image, something I've seen uh, on site, drawing at the ocean in this case. This is from uh, a photograph I had taken that inspired me, the view, and I wasn't able to stop and uh, do any work at that time. So I brought the image back with me and then from that I developed the mood and the painting begins to paint itself. And at this point I've forgotten what I started with. I've forgotten the photograph. It has nothing to do with the photograph anymore or my sketch or my drawing that I began with. I stand back in, in theory with the brush in my hand and I let the painting dictate what I do next and how it develops and it has its own life, its own personality and my task at that point is just to be a guide for the painting and by that I mean the, what we call composition which is the structure the, the angles, the geometry that I see in nature, the power that I see in nature, the color that I see in nature and the texture, which is what inspired me in the first place uh, to become an artist. Uh, this, this, this is what's important and, and, the, and I just balance it all. And this, the painting, the frame uh, becomes its own special world. And uh, even though it was born from the real world, it becomes its own real world, if that makes any sense. And, you know, hopefully as much time as I've spent creating it, that uh, they'll appreciate more and more of what goes on in here. And then when they go out 
in this case to the ocean, and they look down at the bay and this uh, sky, they'll see the geometry that's there. They'll see the structure and the balance that is in the world around them, and, and they're part of that. So it's uh, yeah, it's uh, and it's hard to stop. You know, you can I could paint on the same painting forever. Uh, but there's a point where this painting is calling for the next painting. One of my thoughts that I'd like to leave you with is that, that uh, the arts as capital A, music, writing, literature, poetry, painting, one of the, one of the faults of painting is that it seems to be one of those things that people uh, take a quick look at and move on, or as with a symphony, they're willing to sit down for an hour, half an hour, and be taken through its motions, or with a good piece of literature. Again, you know, it's something that people will spend time doing, and I would like to leave you with a request that you do the same for painting, for any of the visual arts. You're not going to uh, get the meat of the thing in, in just a glance. It will take a little bit of work, a little bit of energy on your side to sit down and just contemplate. Just contemplate what it is you see in front of you, whether it's my work or any, but any other artist's work. And I think you'll be surprised, uh, as I'm constantly surprised. I'm constantly surprised with my own work. It's always a time of discovery for me. Every painting becomes a new type of discovery. So I leave you with that. Enjoy. <laughs>